Today's video is all about a little gadget that saves time and my sanity when plugging these things into a computer. Now, if you're watching this video, it's highly likely you own at least one device that still has a micro USB interface on it. Maybe you own two. Maybe, well, this is probably a common sight, a ton of micro USB cables. Now, gone are the days where we need to plug our devices in after every single activity, download the data and upload to Strava. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on these head units take care of that for us. However, for some management purposes, such as some firmware updates, uh, clearing off space if we fill them up with fit files, or even on a Garmin unit, updating the maps, that only takes place over the wire. Now, the most common problem that I come across is that when I plug things in, nothing happens. The device isn't detected, the drive letter doesn't come up, it just doesn't work. And then I try another cable, another cable again, and then magically things start working, at which time I have a pile of cables and I forget which one works and which one didn't. I just get about the task and put the cables off to a side. That process of plugging cables in and not working and not knowing what cable is what and having a pile and then things start working seems to take place every few weeks with no resolution. Now the reason for this happening is there's two types of micro USB cables. There's power only and there's power and data. By just looking at these things, you can't tell the difference. So I recently came across this little device online that they call a USB cable and human sanity tester. It's a great name for what it does. So it's $11.99, so around $12 US, and it's such a simple device. You can see here, it will identify a basic cable, so power only, or a smart cable, which delivers power and data. Okay, here's what arrived in the post, and the award for the best user manual this year is this device. It's very, very simple. So the device, four LEDs on the front and on the back there, micro USB cable and human sanity test. It comes with a battery pre-installed. So no need to hunt one of those down. Okay, let's get to it. Checking my cables in just a few minutes. Okay, one down. We'll keep a tally in the top corner there. That's only a power cable. We have a winner, power and data on that one. Power only. Power and data. And there we have it, that's my last cable and that pops up as a pass, as power and data. It's worth noting that some micro USB devices will charge a little faster with a data cable, not all but some, and this will also detect a broken cable too. So if only one of those lights up and not two or all four, time to throw that cable and get a new one. So in no time at all, all my cables are now sorted. Okay, that's my micro USB cable collection tested and separated. Now you can do this for free yourself. You don't need any gadgets. You can just plug your device in, turn it on, wait 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and if it doesn't detect as a device on your computer or a drive letter and just simply sits there charging, it's highly likely that is a charge only cable. Put that one off to the side. Now I'll put links below to this little gadget here. It's a hobbyist site, it's not an Amazon store or anything, so I've got no idea of the inventory. And as I said, you don't really need one anyway, but if you're into gadgets, links below. Okay, we'll wrap this one up here. Hopefully that'll save you some headaches next time you plug things in. Remember, if you find a power-only cable, put it aside.